When you're painting clouds, the edges are very important because they allow you to create a soft and fuzzy appearance. Almost every cloud has a soft edge, a transition between the blue sky and the cloud itself. You better start working on this at an early stage when the blue of the sky is still wet. Because I use quite a lot of medium, I need more than one layer to get the color intensity I want. Layer upon layer to finally get a radiant white. Glazing is an ancient technique developed in the 15th century by painters like Jan van Eyck. In the 20th century it fell into disuse, but with modern materials like liquid and transparent white it still gives great results. These details are pretty important in order to make the cloud look real. Little bulges and dots that got separated from the big cloud interrupt the shape and give it a sense of movement. My final decision is to lighten the sky below the clouds on the left side to connect the sky and the beach. In my years as a painter, I discovered that no painting ever goes according to plan, that there will always be moments of doubt, but that most of the time things will turn out fine if you just keep on painting. <laughs>